Sunday, Igboho sends strong warning message to federal government after attempted arrest by DSS on him. Uh, we presented you with a video of all that is currently going on, how Sunday was on his way from Ibadan to Lagos and was um, stopped on the way. We, if you've not seen that video, please uh, go to Apple Line Media on the videos and see for yourself. Uh, Sunday took off its clothes uh, when DSS tried to harass him. You'll see the video for yourself. Yeah, send them a strong message. You know, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. This country, this country, ah, God, we need help, honestly speaking. Let's carry on and get all the details. Sunday Boho has strong, sent a strong message to federal government after attempted arrest on him by DSS early yesterday along Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Sunday Boho, no, better known as Sunday a day year more, better known as Sunday Igboho, was has warned the federal government to channel his energy towards arresting the B-Boys leaders, Ibrahim Chako and Islamic clergy, Hamed Gamion, who has been holding meetings with bandits, yet things are getting worse. Igboho said this during an interview with The Punch on Friday while reacting to the face-off between him and security agencies around the Gara bus stop along the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. The Yoruba activist, who has been in the news for serving a quick notice on Fulani headsmen in some parts of the Southwest, said he was never invited before they attempted to arrest him. When asked if he would honor a police invitation, Boho said, go and ask them to invite Gamu and Shakwa first before dis disturbing me. Let them face the bandits instead of facing, you know, people who are in the society. Boho also said he will not run, adding that he has returned to his base in Ibadan. When asked if he would go into hiding, he said, for what? I am in the neighborhood. I cannot run. Run from what? Boho told this newspaper that his bank account was initially frozen but restored and has um, recent uh, was left recently and has been unfrozen. He said he has done nothing wrong but fight for the rights of the people. The government is doing nothing. The Fulani headsman is oppressing them, taking over their land. Why is it a problem to tell them to leave that their, their welcome is no longer needed? How is that a national issue? Furthermore, the Yoruba Social Cultural Group, a ferry ferry, also condemned the attempt by security operative to arrest Sunday Boho, right activist Sunday Adeyemo, aka Sunday Boho. Reacting to the incident, Oduma King said, There is no sense in that. The attempted arrest. Hugh Igboho is a free citizen of Nigeria. If they need him for any questioning, they should invite him formally and do things decently and in order, not trying to lay way for him like an armed robber trying to arrest him when he's traveling. This is unaccepted. This is not accepted in any way. The person that is having meetings with bandits has not been arrested. He has not been arrested. The person having meetings, constant meetings with bandits, causing evil and atrocity. Eh? The person who is causing trouble in the country has not been arrested. Can you see that there is what we call misplacement of priority, where they leave, they, 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 they leave what is important, they leave the major on the minor, then the minor on the major. Is that, is that what it should be? Is that how things should be? How do you reconcile that? How do you explain it? What kind of country are we in? What kind of country is this? What kind of country? What kind of country? Eh? The person that knows the B-boys, having meetings with them, telling people, and you don't know, understand, federal government's eyes is not there. They are not even bothered about those ones. They cannot be bothered. They are not, uh, I mean, they are not concerned about those ones. It's the people who are law-abiding that they are, you know, flexing their tentacles and their muscles over. Those are the people they are going to, 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 to cause evil. I don't understand it. Guys, am I speaking your mind? I would like to really hear a comment from you. Why would they be attempting to arrest Sunday? You know, yesterday we presented you with a news that um, the guy that was 
sent away from Ibadan as a result of his activity, wrote to, you know, they said the Fulani, they've done their own investigation and they saw that uh, they were oppressed. He was oppressed as a result. They want um, him, they want uh, the government to arrest Sunday. And guess what? Like they, like they said it, it was just yesterday that is, you know, that the letter they wrote to federal government was revealed and we presented you that news it was the same yesterday there was this attempted arrest on sunday there was this attempt so how come they've not really gone to those who are really causing problem in the country but rather they are facing law abiding citizens why why nigeria why what is happening why how come we cannot do the right thing why what is going on who do us eh what is going on what kind of country is this? What kind of country is this? You know, these are things that should not be heard of in a, in a, in a place where we have what we call civilization. And mo most of all, we call it a democratic setting. Is this really a democratic setting? Is it really? Is that what it really is? Democratic setting? Honestly speaking, is this a democratic setting? That's what we should be asking ourselves. Is it really democracy? Because from where we stand, it doesn't seem very much like a democratic setting from this side of the table. It feels more like some people are trying to impose themselves on others, you know? People are trying to impose themselves on others. So when you look at the stethoscope, you look at what is happening, you know that there is more to this than beneath the eyes. There is more to it than beneath the... Why would you be trying to arrest Sunday for goodness sake? Why? They burnt his house that has not been, that have not been, uh, that have not been resolved. Uh, uh, his own governor in the state initially did not really, you know, uh, accept what he was doing. That enough serves as an enough betrayer. Then, as if that is not enough, when uh, the people of uh, uh, Ogun State invited him, Dickbo went on air and made an announcement. I don't know who he's really scared of, saying that he did not invite Sunday. Oh. Sunday is doing it on his own accord. Do oh. he did not invite him? Oh. Uh -huh. uh, they should know he did not invite Sunday. Oh. Blah, 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 A, B, C, D, Z, W, D. You know, I mean, when you look at the whole thing, you begin to wonder, what are people really scared of? What is going on? And why are they scared? We need to see that we need a overhauling of our whole system, of this system called Nigeria. Things need to change and change like yesterday. You know, leave us a comment. Don't forget to like or share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.